Welcome to my build of a 16 inch wingspan Das Ugly Stick. Uh, today, really exciting, I'm going to start covering the fuselage. It's got to that point where I can see the end in sight. Um, I, the the colour scheme is still a little bit up in the air, but essentially the underside of the fuselage is going to be black. Um, the rest of the fuselage is going to be red and the underside of the wings and uh, tail plane um, are going to be this, uh, this yellow. Um, I'm going to have the odd flash and the odd thing on here as well, but I'm going to get those basic colours done first and, uh, and then we'll take it from there and it might change a little bit. I think to start off with I'm going to do the uh, fin and the tail plane, as always get those out of the way first. Um, and then I will do the sides of the fuselage, um, lap these sides just um, on the under, underneath the fuselage bottom and then trim and have a little bit of an overlap on the bottom of the fuselage and then I will do black on the fuselage and trim that right to the edge um, and then I will do the top and again I will have a little bit of an overlap um, down the sides. So I'll have a yeah, I'll have a little bit of an overlap and just a seam down the sides. I think that's how I'll be doing it. It might change um, as it always does, um, but that's the plan so far. Um, the uh, the tail plane, I will probably do the the top surface first, lap it round, uh, a seam on the on the backside, underside, yeah, underside, and then I'll just do a piece of yellow on the bottom. Right, uh, as far as tools, equipment, I've got my, uh, my Prolux Digital um, Iron with um, socks, I've got some spare socks. Sometimes uh, with some films you pick up a little bit of glue and it just starts to smear and, and it gets really irritating so you can change the sock. Although having said that, I'm going to be using this um, Litex from World Models. That's all, all three rolls are, are, are Litex. Uh, it's a product I've used before and I really like it. It sticks really well, it stretches well, and you don't get a lot of glue coming off like I have done with some of the other um, films that I've used in the past. So I, I really like this Litex. Um, I have done a review of, of this, um, and if you look in the description below uh, the video, there'll be a link to it, and I'll also do a link to the data sheet for the, the covering material. Um, I've also got a hot air gun, um, I'm not sure how much I'll be using that on the fuselage, I suspect not a lot um, unless I've got some, uh, some bits where I just need to get um, a little bit of excess film out of the way without putting the iron on it because the iron often puts a crease in if you've got a bit of a bubble um, or, or a, just a little bit too much film and you want to get it out of the way, you put the iron on and you can put a crease so the hot air gun is quite good for that. Um, I'm going to be leaving the camera running and um, I'll play it back as, as high speed film. Um, my apologies now if I get in the way or uh, you can't see exactly what I'm doing. Um, I, I find this, I, I have to totally absorb myself into this and, um, and so I'm not really aware uh, of trying to avoid the camera. And to be honest, it's so tricky sometimes that um, you just need to do what you need to do and if you're in the way of the camera it, it's kind of just one of those things. So I, I apologise for that. Um, but uh, right, well I'll get on, I'll start to, uh, start to get these, uh, these, these surfaces done and then uh, it'll be great to see it start to take some colour.
Doing around curves like this is, is ultimately some of the, the, the trickiest bits we have to do. Um, and the same with the wing tips. Um, the way I do it, um, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm no expert and I haven't been taught this. This is just from uh, covering models in the past. Um, what I try and do, this film's quite flexible. It's stuck flat on this backside here. What I try to do is just stretch it a little bit and just get it stuck, um, or, well, yeah, stuck along the top here. I'm not gonna go all the way along, just a couple of inches. Um, and that is sticking now along that top edge, but it's starting to wrinkle up um, because as we stretch it, as we pull it round, uh, there's more material here than there needs to be. So it's starting to wrinkle. If I carry on going round now, that's going to uh, wrinkle up even more and, and look a mess. So what I then do is I cut it into uh, short strips, tongs, whatever you like. And I cut it just short of the top, um, the, 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 the crest. So it's this side, because there's still a little bit more stretch in it. So I don't cut it too close. If you don't cut it, if you cut it too far away though, you end up with a little bit of a, a crease. So once I've got these tongues, the thing to do then is to try and get the ones you don't want out the way. If need be, a little bit of uh, magic tape, something like that may help. I just used the piece uh, on this. And what I'm doing now is I'm just going to fold this over. I'm going to be stretching this. Um, hopefully you can see that um, some more. So I'll start again on the top and I'll perhaps start this end. And then as I go along, um, I'll just alter the angle at, at which I pull it to try and get that as smooth as possible on the top because that top edge is what you're going to really see um, and I'm stretching it all the time pulling it quite taut really um, and just flattening it out now I've got that stuck down on that uh, side I don't know whether I'll just try and zoom in a little bit more on that Okay. You can see, you can see that's just stuck along that top edge now. And again, just pulling it and just making sure that's in place, but not going too far down. If I go too far down now, um, I'm going to put those creases in. You can see there's creases ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the very edge of the iron Oops, sorry, the very edge of the iron, not the flat, because if I put the flat on, I'll put the creases in. Use the edge and start, start right on this top edge where it's already stuck and just, and just work my way down as I'm pulling it. Keeping it nice and steady on that, on that, just on that tip of the iron, that edge of the iron. You can see that that's got a few little marks in it, but actually doesn't look too bad. You're never going to. Well, I'm never. <laughs> I don't think I will ever get this done without putting some some marks in. And um, then I've got my, my nice sharp scalpel, and I'm just going to take that off there. And then when I come to do this side, I'm just going to cover right up to that seam like that. So hopefully that will look okay. We'll just do this other side or other bit now. So again, get it stuck along the top. Oops. 
sorry if the camera if the camera isn't seeing this. It's difficult to try and get it on camera. Now this has got a longer tongue on it that I can get my fingers further away. That last one was a bit too short. There. And you can see that one's worked a little bit better. And just use the very edge of the iron now just to, to bring that down. And again, I'll just trim this off. There we go. Once we've done that, what we can do then, because it leaves just the overlap, these are just a little bit rough on the edge. So if we just go over with the iron and just smooth that off. Surprising how that will just take out those, uh, those little um, joints that you can feel. There. Right, well I shall get on and do the rest of this now. Okay, well that's covered now and it seems to have gone uh, okay. Um, as you can see I've lapped some onto the fuselage here, uh, which will create a little bit of a seam when I do the top, but it's, it'll make that just a much stronger uh, bond there between the two. Um, when I put on uh, this last piece here, um, I just went around, you'll have seen the high speed film with the scalpel and just cut that as accurately as I can. Um, this uh, seam here is actually right down the back edge of here where the hinges are going to go in. So that's totally unexposed to any, any wind that uh, may result from the plane sort of travelling. Um, these edges here, um, ideally it would be better to lap that round again so that this seam wasn't facing the oncoming wind. Um, but to be honest, this film sticks to itself so well, I, I, I don't really see that as a problem. And I think I would rather risk that, having that seam there it's a little bit exposed, than trying to wrap that round again. I just think it would make this leading edge here look a little bit messy and cumbersome. So it's kind of a trade-off really, um, just trying to get your, your, your seams downwind if you like. Um, but now I'm going to move on to the tail plane and, um, and get this covered. Um, I think I'm going to be starting on the top and, um, and doing the red on the top. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start on the underside and I'm going to put the yellow on the underside. Um, I, I'm thinking about the edges and, and, and how best uh, to do that. And if I put the yellow on the underside, lap it up onto the top and then the red can go on and just come around and just to the underside here. And, that, and, and the same here. And that will mean that these seam, seams are slightly downwind but mainly that the wind will be pressing against the seam rather than if I did it the other way uh, pushing at an edge 
So I think, yeah, underside, lap it round, lap it round, and then stick this on top with just that edge over. I think that will look right. So, the yellow. Well I've got the tailplane and the fin covered now and uh, that went on nice and nice and easy, or relatively easy, but then flat surface, square edges, it's kind of what you'd expect really. Um, and, uh, and the underside there with the yellow and you can see the, uh, the way the, the red just cuts in there. I mean you won't see that because of the, uh, the animator. The, the side or well, the edge that's perhaps more important is this front edge uh, where the red just comes down um, actually that's just a little bit loose there let me just just a little bit loose there I perhaps haven't ironed it properly um, so just where it comes down here and that's nice and steady, nice straight line um, so I, I, I'm quite pleased that how that's come out and um, now to get on with the fuselage and um, I mean the fuselage <laughs> should be relatively simple uh, it's just straight lines um, but we'll see um, I'm sure it'll be fine uh, as I said I'm going to do I think the sides first then I'm going to do the top lap it down and then the bottom will go on last the black and I will trim that nice and tight to the side of the fuselage um, and do the join underneath the join on the top um, yeah I one thing I have done which you'll, you'll probably see in the film um, 
I kind of made a little bit of a mis mistake in the measuring and um, I haven't left, I wanted to make sure I'd got enough for the wings um, and I've cut some out for the wings and didn't really appreciate or didn't think that I, I couldn't get um, a strip out widthways on the roll to do the fuselage. Um, so now I'm going to have to put a join in the fuselage side, which is a bit annoying, but to be honest, if I put it under the wings and I put this piece on first and then lap it over that way, so it's going to the back, you'll never notice it. I'll be the only person who probably um, who, uh, who ever notices that. So, um, there's my confession of the day and um, I'll get on and uh, get this fuselage finished. Right, well I've more or less finished today, I think, I've had enough. 
Um, I've got the fuselage uh, finished. Um, there's still a few uh, little edges maybe that just want neatening up or just just tacking down. I can see a bit there. Um, but I'm going to come back to this tomorrow when I'm fresh. Um, it's been a, a long day. Um, never underestimate how long it takes to, to cover something like this. I mean, I started at about uh, 9 o'clock this morning and it's now 4.30. Um, and I've been at this more or less all day except for a brief bit of lunch. Um, but, uh, but I'm quite pleased with it. I'm quite pleased with the way uh, it looks. Um, I've still got um, some, some uh, detail to put on this. Maybe the odd stripe here or there, or uh, I've got a few ideas, but I wanted to get the base on first so I could have a look at it and um, and, and then sort of see how it would look. But you know, despite being a, a very simple fuselage, tail, uh, tail plane, and fin, you know, it's still taken a, a huge amount of time, um, and you can't rush these things. But it's good. It's really rewarding when you get it done.